Hello everyone, thanks for watching. In my last video I shared with you my humble apology and I appreciate the many emails and comments, the many thank yous and I forgive yous. It really, really means a lot to me. In that very same video I told you that I'd be sharing with you some information, not just any information but information that might expose a system a system of evil that's been around for a very very long time in fact the system was formed the very moment Adam's eyes were open to the fact that they had committed sin they tried to cover up their sinful status by using fig leaves the birth and type of the very first religion. God wouldn't allow that to continue so he showed Adam and Eve that the only way to atone for sin is by the sacrifice of a living creature. Death had to come to something before life and forgiveness could be given to something else. A type and picture of a future sacrifice that would come for mankind through Jesus Christ. So even way back in the garden we see man falling to sin, trying to dig his way out, trying to create his own religion of self-work to fix his own problems. And God stepping in to reveal that the only way out of sin is through sacrifice. Now we know before Jesus Christ they would sacrifice animals as atonement for their sins. They would shed blood to cover their sins. Notice I say cover sin because back then the many animals that died on behalf of sin atonement were temporary. It's called remission, a temporary fix, a temporary condition something that stops for the moment but will need more attention sometime in the future. The blood sacrifices for their temporary remission of sins was a picture of a future event prophesied many times that the seed of a woman would crush the head of the serpent once and for all and that the head of the serpent would be bruised. In other words the seed of the woman would be brought to death but through that death would crush the enemy and through resurrection would forever destroy the penalty of sin which is death. The enemy is hard at work more so today than ever before using different tactics and methods to prevent mankind from obtaining salvation by creating an abundance of false ideologies. For mankind to slip into religion and think that they're able to fix the sin problem by their own methods, not trusting in Christ Jesus alone, but adding to the finished work of our Savior, making His work only part of the solution and placing works, specifically good works, in the mix, thinking that by their own efforts they'll attain sainthood and receive promises that are only given to the body of Christ. Those that believe and trust in Christ Jesus' finished work on the cross for their salvation and nothing else. In the next half dozen videos I'd like to share, I'd like to start from the bottom, the basics, the very foundation and I'm going to assume that you know absolutely nothing about spiritual or biblical matters. Not because I'm belittling you or putting you down in any way, but because I want to include even the new baby Christians who are beginning to build upon the foundation of Christ Jesus and making sure that when they build on that foundation, it's solid. Solid enough to withstand the many deceptions that lie within this wicked world we live in today. Or perhaps even non-Christians who have questions concerning our Father in Heaven and our Savior 
Christ Jesus. And for those of you who, may be, who, who might be more knowledgeable regarding Scripture, then maybe this will be a type of refresher for you. And it might just be a blessing to you as well. One of the main reasons I'm doing this series of teachings is because over the course of many years I've talked to a number of people who've told me that they knew very little if anything at all on this subject and others told me that they knew everything there was to know and within minutes of speaking with them it was clear to me that they were completely lost and had no clue whatsoever to what the Bible says or teaches rightly divided I've been a believer for over 35 years and I've studied extensively through scripture and I'll tell you now that I'm not part of any particular denomination nor am I claiming to know everything there is to know about the Word of God I learned long ago that when you think you know it all that's the first step then your very next step is when you fall just when I thought I had it all figured out that's when God lovingly moved me up to the next step and looking back I knew nothing at all so over the years I've changed my mind about several things that I was taught in my earlier years since my research has proven that many of those things I was taught were incorrect now I'm sure that much of what I'm going to tell you in this study will raise questions in your mind especially since you may have religious background of some type or perhaps schooling was one that uh, deviated over the years from the creation model of life to the evolution model I can tell you without a doubt that the evolution model is wrong enough even though many so-called scientists will disagree with me you're free to make up your own mind about any part of this but if you will just consider and think it through I know two scientists who were staunch evolutionists and there's more out there and they set out to prove once and for all that this creation thing was a complete joke after years of investigating and researching they're now both convinced creationists and can prove through hours of material how crazy the evolution model truly is I ask that you research that I s everything that I say in this study to validate or reject it so you feel certain even after reading and studying it thoroughly that you have a solid foundation to stand on I'll say this up front <clears throat> that the following videos could be one of the most important studies you'll ever come across in your lifetime correction not the most important but one of the most important because hopefully when you're through I'll have pointed you to the most important study and that happens to be the Bible in the following study I'll also reveal some interesting facts that most likely are unknown for the most part due to the religious systems failure or perhaps the religious systems success and hiding the truth the truth being revealed would most likely cause the chaotic collapse of the entire religious system so look forward to the next video as we'll be diving right in head first into some awesome information and my hope is that it will bring edification to everyone who participates and ultimately a better understanding of God's Word rightly divided amen so with that said in closing I'd like to read from 1st Corinthians 15 1 through 4 where Paul wrote the gospel the good news of salvation now I make known to you brethren the gospel which I preached to you which also you received in which also you stand by which also you are saved if you hold fast the word which I preached to you unless you believed in vain for I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures 
and that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day according to scriptures and that he appeared to Cephas then to the twelve thanks for watching everyone and I look forward to growing in knowledge with you rightly divided I welcome comments suggestions concerns and contributing to this study peace and grace in Christ Jesus unto you and your family.